Hey, boys and girls. I hope you had an awesome weekend. Ms. McDougal, Ms. Freeman, and I are here to do our lesson today on Veterans Day, since that is going to be on November 11th. So we hope that you enjoyed the book, and we just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of history about what Veterans Day is all about. So what is Veterans Day? Veterans Day honors all those who have served our country in war and in peace. It's intended to thank veterans for their sacrifices. It was originally called Armistice Day, which commemorates the end of World War I. So let's talk a little bit about what we do on Veterans Day. On Veterans Day, we do our best to honor everyone who has fought for our country in any branch of the military. Veterans Day is known as the Tomb of the Unknowns, and at 11 a.m. on November 11th, the Color Guard, consisting of members of every part of the military, get together and honor so soldiers who have died at the Tomb of the Unknowns. The president or representative puts a wreath on the tomb, and then a bugler plays taps. Veterans are special because they leave their families to fight for our country, for our freedom. They fight for us, their kids, their husbands or wives, and for the world. Veterans are special because they put all of our needs before their own so that we can live another day in freedom. So what are the branches of the military? They're the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine, and Coast Guard. Who do you know who's a veteran? There are so many people in our community who used to serve in the military. I personally know that my father-in-law used to be in the Navy. What about you guys? Well, my husband's grandfather was actually, um, because we are Canadian, he was stationed in um, Quantico. And so he was in the military back in the early 1900s. And we also have some neighbors that we're very close to. Mr. George is our neighbor and he was in the military and we thank him for his service every day. And another great neighbor uh, neighbor of ours is Colonel uh, John High, who was in the Marine Corps. And this is after um, he got back from his second tour of Iraq. This picture was taken with his two young boys and we are grateful for his service. So I have two members in my family that have served in the military. So this is my dad. He was in the Air Force during the Vietnam War. He was in a department called Intelligence. So due to that, he cannot really tell us exactly what he did when he was serving in the war, um, but we thank him very much for all that he did during that time. This is my grandfather, and my grandfather was in the Army during World War II. He was actually the second infantry that went out on D-Day. Um, so when he came back from the war, he didn't talk a whole lot about what happened, um, you know, at that time, because it was, it was a lot. So we thank him and his service and all those during World War II. So for our activity this week, we would like you to draw or color an American flag. Um, this is one that I had made. You can be as creative as you want. We use some um, construction paper and cut it out and glued it. You can print off the computer maybe and color your own flag. And then if you would like, you can add the names of the veterans that you know. You might have a family member or a neighbor or a good friend and you can put their name on your flag. And when you are done, <clears throat> put your drawing in a place in your house where everybody can see it so that they can remember our veterans every day, not just on Veterans Day. So when you do your flag, please make sure that you put it, take a picture of it and put it in the discussion box, the comment box um, for the lesson today and tell us where you're gonna put your flag. And if for some reason you're not able to show us the picture, just tell us um, where you put your flag in the comment box. So this is my flag. I. Um, just printed a heart flag from the computer, and then I just um, taped it to blue and red construction paper. And I'm gonna put this in my office because I'm pretty much in my office all the time and more than any other room in my house. 
so I'm gonna put this in my office so I can see it every day. Thank you so much, boys and girls. I can't wait to see your flags. I'm so excited to see what you do for Veterans Day to honor our troops. And I hope that you all have a wonderful, wonderful week. Bye guys. Bye.